studio guest will be the president of the Chamorro Affairs, Mr. Joseph Artero Cameron. Good evening, Joseph. Hey, this is Marcel. This is Marcel. If you don't have a problem with the discussion, I will discuss the department of the Kauhau Guinahan Samoru, no? Yeah, the treasure shares of the, uh, the goods of Guam and the culture of Guam. Yeah, the president, the, the, your, your title is president. It's a non-profit organization, but it's... It's it, a public corporation. It's a public, public yeah. corporation. There we go. Anyway, let, let's go back uh, the mandate of the Chamorro Affairs. Give the people the insight as to the, the beginning of the Chamorro Affairs. Uh, primarily, what had happened over the years was the legislature tried in its wisdom to create a repository of various things that would affect culture, heritage, language, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And over the years, uh, we have noticed that there's been a shift mm -hmm. depending on who was the president, who wasn't. Depending on how the markers are, So basically, the inception of the Department of Chamorro Affairs was supposed to be everything Chamorro. Uh, we'll, we'll start from there. Uh, and then go out and uh, to its appendages, but a total tally or your true share that departmental, no? Okay. Guasha different is in a division. Este e departmento de pusi para guaja no para ocurrir linguaje. Yo otro para ocurrir each more village. Yo otro para its museum. Pues está lo la mega otro share ni de vivo matogri. There's so many things that needs to be put together, mm -hmm. and over the years, even the mandate hasn't mm -hmm. even been created, uh, certain divisions have not mm -hmm. been created over mm -hmm. the years. And that's my challenge. And mm -hmm. Governor Carvo, upon asking me to take on this challenge, he let me na siguro na tana bonito mo na sti sa ginin mamay gusto na departamento lo ufakpay sin hao Joseph na pang zao 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 atensyon itauto zao na pang halom the stakeholders need to come together. Mm -hmm. uh, as I say it, you know, even if nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. are not necessarily uh, been stakeholders in the past many years, uh, as I take it, hey, mm -hmm. let's meet, let's pull hair, just don't walk out bold. Yeah, That's all I say. You know, as a matter of fact, let, let's, let's go back because the, the uh, Chamorro village is under the purview of the Chamorro Affairs as well, right, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, it well, used to be with Gida okay. and the Commerce. Okay, so now it's under the directorship, the direction, again, under your, your agency, Chum the Department of Chamorro Affairs. Now, let, let's go back again because I remember the public market being down there years ago where Chief Kapua Park is, is at, basically, right now. Over the years, and it's, it has turned out to be a great thing, tourists are now coming in there. But, and, and uh, over the past few years, there, you're seeing more and more of the, the culture, more and more artifacts and things of that nature down in, in, in the village. But, uh, but it is really some of the complaints that people have, although it's a good place for barbecues and all of that, it really has kind of uh, lost the essence of the chamorroness of the 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 culture, really, uh, other than just a big fiesta. Uh, what uh, your your view on that? I think we need to revisit uh, the inception of the Chamorro Village, mm -hmm. as I remember it back in the early '80s when I first came to Guam. Uripara na mangaygi todo i farmers, za mangaygi todo i bentania, za pagu hasan tulili. The, you know, the, the people that mm -hmm. are, like, for example, farmers, I couldn't believe it. They're out on the, st on yeah. the pavement yeah. with a mm -hmm. canopy over them yeah. and the heat and the vegetables and the fruits are withering away. Mm -hmm. And the incubator cool. concept yeah, yeah. Uh, has kind of moved into a different venue mm -hmm. where there are people there more than 10 years mm -hmm. whenever the incubator period mm -hmm. was to allow our locals mm -hmm. to start up small businesses mm -hmm. and to promote the opportunities mm -hmm. that private industry Espouses, mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's forward. exactly my, my point. So, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, when you, when you do the the old farmers market that that used to be down there, yeah, I mean the the farmers will bring their their goods, their produce, their their livestock. Basically, at times they 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 sell down there. But now you see them, the ones that are selling the produce are, as you said, they're in a canopy right in the side of the street, and when it when it rains, and a lot of them, uh, again, the you know the the water passage is mm -hmm. right in front of them. We we have. We have vendors that are that are across the street that are selling artifacts as well. So, 
you know, I, you know I, I don't think that grabs the essence of the inception of Chamorro Village. And like you said, the incubator program is basically as a startup uh, to be able to get your foot on the door, to get you started, and then to move on. Um, are there going to be changes? I mean, we, we don't, you don't want to, you know, dislocate anybody at this point, but are there, are there going to be a, is there going to be a revisiting on the concept of that Chamorro Village? I think the incoming board of trustees mm -hmm. needs to really sit down mm -hmm. and revisit everything about Chamorro Village. Mm -hmm. It needs to come back to the, to the grasp of why we have it. Hafa taimanu na este titeguid ya ni tempun antes kalan malilingu na People need to feel that when they walk into the village, even the appearance as you first walk mm -hmm. in, it needs to scream out, this is Chamorro. Mm -hmm. And it's not doing that. Mm -hmm. We have a potpourri of vendors, and mm -hmm. we, we invite people, of mm -hmm. course, to come down and eat. Yeah. But I don't believe we want Chamorro Village to be strictly a food place. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to display culture. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to display other things other than just food. Mm -hmm. 